Hey guys, welcome back to another figure review. Today's review is going to be on the Neko Burning Godzilla. Now, I'm not going through his history because you all know probably hit th this incarnation of Godzilla. The history of this incarnation of Godzilla. So anyways, yep. On to detail, it's really, really accurate, I must say. All the spikes here are very well detailed, so does the arms, the legs, so does the tail. Even, like, the face here, like, those really beady eyes there. Even though the snout there, like, right here looks a little bit long, if you can see. Now, he has a long, a lot of articulation. Now, the arms for the Rotate 360, he... Some of his other joints does as well. Yeah, but they're pretty much... Um, the legs here do rotate 360, but unfortunately they don't because... Uh, sorry about that. I just got, the, this edge here gets in the way, though. So the legs here uh, almost... Well, this one here does, but this one gets blocked by gets blocked by the edge of the tail, though. But the waist rotates full in 360. So does the tail here, all his joints. So about that. Um, now this tail here is pretty much like the. Godzilla 1954, or uh, it's a bendable figure, but he has other joints on his legs, like this one and this one. Okay, I kind of messed it up there. Ah, there it is. Now for sizing, let's pull out the mo the monster he fought in. The movie here is Destroyer. Now this is totally inaccurate. Destroyer is supposed to be this big to Godzilla, but he's way too short. And uh, I forgot one last point, which is his neck here and the head does move, but I glue me and my dad glue super glued it because uh. When I got this figure, uh, his head kept on popping out, so I had no other choice but to like super glue it so that way it wouldn't pop out ever again. So yeah, for rarity, um, he's a he's a there is he's um he's a really easy figure like the ne like the Godzilla nineteen fifty four Godzilla, um. So, he's pretty much easy to find like all the other Nick Godzilla figures. So yeah, anyways, history, um, never told it because you all know his history, um, detail is fantastic, articulation's good, and sizing is, I said it's good, but he could, he can sometimes be a little big, a little too tall. And uh, rarity is easy, so in the end, I'm gonna give this guy a, um, a 9.5 out of 10. I mean, it's a really good figure, but if you didn't see here, um, Destroyer here is a bit too small. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you next time. Bye.